Hello, hello. I was doing some stuff outside in the garden, but it's August in England, which means that it started raining. So I've come inside and today I'm going to do some indoor gardening instead with some of my house plants. So this little guy here, I love this pot so much. This little guy here is a type of snake plant. He's a cylindrical snake plant rather than a flat leaf snake plant. Uh, the pot, I can't actually remember the name of the craftsman who made him, but she was working with Kate Malone in Kate Malone's London studio in about 2013, 2014. So if you know who it is, let me know. As you can see here, we've got three distinct crowns on the plant. So all I'm going to do is tip it out, separate them, and pot them on so each one can grow into another big plant. So let's have a look what we're working with. This pot actually came, came with an insert and then my mum's used another insert inside, I'm not sure why. So the plant is actually in very small amount of growing medium. There's another small pot inside that, it's like Russian nesting dolls. <laughs> Okay, so let's see if I can get this off without losing too many roots. There we go. And we've got one, two in the middle there, three, maybe four if you include this one. So I'm just going to start separating them out. Oh, you have to be cruel to be kind. Oh, poor babies. Ah, so maybe these ones will each grow into a plant. I've got the beginning of two there. I hope they're going to be okay. <laughs> so as you can tell from the fact that this has survived in a tiny little pot, uh, snake plant is a very, very resilient succulent. I don't actually do very well with the flat leaf varieties, but this cylindrical one has done really well. So we're gonna get five plants off this. I think the one I put back in the pot is going to be one of these little ones. So our smiley friend is just gonna have a single little lock for a while while the hair grows in. Here's the potting mix I'm using. It's a mixture of cocoa cacao compost and some vermiculite in there as well that vermiculite is going to help with the drainage and keep it fairly free draining i will add in all these little bits here because it will have bacteria and fungi that the plant is used to that it's been thriving in in that tiny pot so we'll add those in and i've just got a selection of small pots here that i'm going to be planting them up into this one turned out to be a lot bigger than I thought, but hopefully it's going to be okay in this pot. I think the biggest bit on it is maybe 45 centimetres, maybe even half a metre. So that's pretty impressive considering the size of the pot it came out of. So that's these guys all done, all five of them. My smiley face pot's ready to go back on the windowsill. And these guys, when they've grown on a little bit more, I will find new homes for them. So it turns out the secret to cultivating and propagating healthy snake plants is to keep them in the world's tiniest pot, let them get really root bound, <laughs> and then separate them when they desperately put out babies. I hope you found this video useful and me and maybe Smiley Pot. We'll see you next time. Bye.